Right, uh, we need to proceed uh, to rationalize uh, the denominator given one over three plus the square root of two minus the square root of five. And we present a solution to this problem in a step-by-step -step fashion as follows. Given one over three plus um, the square root of two minus the square root of five in parentheses, we then uh, rationalize straight away. We rationalize the denominator by multiplying by the conjugate. And the conjugate is three minus into the square root of two minus the square root of five. And you proceed to divide by three minus the square root of two minus the square root of five. So you have three minus. If you distribute, then you have minus the square root of two plus the square root of five. So you divide by three, by three is nine minus, okay? So you have nine minus there. And uh, what does this yield? Right, so what it yields is uh, the square root of two minus uh, the square root of five and the uh, u square, like so. Okay, this is awesome stuff. And therefore, in the numerator, you have three. Three minus the square root of two plus the square root of five, and you divide everything by nine minus right so nine minus the square root of two minus square root of five all squared square root of two minus the square root of five all squared and this means you have three minus the square root of two plus the square root of five then you divide by nine minus so if you proceed to square these then what this brings is two plus five minus um, two times the square root of 10, right? Like so. And uh, what is the meaning of this here? So it is three minus the square root of two plus the square root of five divided by, okay, now two plus five is seven, nine minus seven is a two, plus two times the square root of 10. So that in the end, what we're then getting is uh, three minus the square root of two plus the square root of five divided by two plus, to the square root of 10. You multiply by two minus two, the square root of 10 divided by two minus two, the square root of 10. Now, we multiply through by two. So two by three is a six minus two, the square root of two plus two, the square root of five. Okay, we multiply through now by negative two times the square root of 10 and negative two times the square root of 10 times three is a minus six times the square root of 10. Multiplying these two would give us plus two times the square root of 20. And multiplying this here would give us minus two times the square root of 50. So minus two times the square root of 50. Like so. And now you proceed to do division with um, two by two. It's four minus four times the square root of 10. Right, so this is six. Okay, the square root of two now appears in a couple of places, uh, right? Um, if we simplify, we're gonna be able to see this. Let's just simplify 
the terms in the in the numerator of this. So this is exactly the square root of 10 here plus uh, two, the square root of 20 is uh, the square root of four by four times five. Um, and then here, this one here is uh, 25 uh, times two. Divide everything. Four minus 40. Which is uh, minus two times the square root of two. Plus two times the square root of five. Minus six times the square root of 10. And then now here we have the square root of, uh, of four um, times five. And this becomes two times the square root of five, which is four, which is uh, plus four times the square root of five. Okay, so we have that. And this one here is gonna become minus 10 times the square root of two. Okay, all over. Four minus 40 is minus 36. Which is six. The square root of two. Which is minus 12 times the square root of two. And this and this is uh, six. The square root of five. Okay, that is two times the square root of five plus four times the square root of five is six times the square root of five. Okay, let's come to the square root of 10, which is the uh, minus six times the square root of 10. Right? Like so. Let's check if we have the uh, everything in order here okay it appears so you need to divide everything by minus minus 36 uh, and upon careful examination we can divide through by um the by negative six simplify it through by negative six getting a minus one if you divide by negative six it becomes two times the square root of two divide by negative six which is minus the square root of five we divide by negative six, which is the square root of 10. And you divide by negative six, which becomes a six. Okay, so this is what we're able to, what we're able to sort of achieve. Let us check here if everything is above board. Right, so uh, this becomes uh, the correct result. And uh, we have solved uh, this particular uh, question in detail. And uh, thanks everybody for uh, taking part uh, in the solution uh, to the next, uh, to the first question. Right, so, but we are gonna look at the next question. The next question is, right, so we proceed to solve uh, the next one. What is uh, the next one? Right, in the, in the next case, we still are saying we need to rationalize. Right, we need to rationalize. We need to rationalize the denominator. You need to rationalize the denominator. How do we rationalize the denominator? Given one over seven minus the square root of three, plus the square root of two. This is the question that is given. And so we need to um, rationalize the denominator here. But first things first, uh, we realize that we actually have here seven, you can put a plus here like so. Just associate the terms a little bit. And uh, now in our um, endeavor to rationalize the denominator and we then have seven minus into minus the square root of three 
plus the square root of 2 all divided by 7 minus into minus the square root of 3 plus the square root of 2. All right, so what we're then getting is uh, the numerator, which becomes a 7 plus the square root of 3 minus the square root of 2. 7 plus the square root of 3 minus the square root of 2 divided by now in the denominator now you multiply 7 by 7 getting a 49 right getting a 49 minus and uh, we then have uh, minus um, now this minus the square root of 2 plus minus square root of 3 plus the square root of 2 okay so minus the square root of 3 plus the square root of 2 squared like so like so and uh, the numerator therefore becomes a 7 plus the square root of 3 minus the square root of 2 divided by 49 minus if you square these then it becomes 3 plus 2 minus 2 times the square root of 6. So in the end, then what we're getting is a 7 plus the square root of 3 minus the square root of 2. You divide everything by, okay, 5, uh, 3 plus 2 is a 5. 49 minus uh, 5 is a 44. Plus 2 times the square root of six meaning we have seven plus the square root of three minus the square root of two in the uh, you have 44 plus two times the square root of six like so like so which is 44 minus two times the square root of six which is 44 minus 2 times the square root of 6. Right, so what we do is to proceed to multiply out the terms in the numerator. Uh, let's distribute and multiply 44 by 7, which is 7 by 44 plus 44 times the square root of 3 minus 44 times the square root of 2 and uh, you multiply through also by minus uh, 2 times the square root of 6, which is minus 14 times the square root of 6, minus 2 times the square root of 18, plus 2 times the square root of 12. Okay, you proceed to do division. In the denominator, we have difference of two squares. So we'll have 44 squared minus four times six. And so now seven by 44 is three zero eight plus 44 times the square root of three minus 44 times the square root of two minus 14 times the square root of six. The number 18 under the square root is the same as 9 times 2, in which case we're able to write that is 9 times 2 plus 4 times 3. And uh, now we divide everything by now 44 squared is 1936 minus 4 times 6 is 24. And then this becomes 308. Right, let's check. And then plus 44 times the square root of 3. Right, times the square root of 3. And then here you have minus 44 times the square root of 2. Right. And then we have minus 14 times the square root of 6.
And then here you have now the square root of nine times the square root of two. The square root of nine is three, and three times two is six, which becomes minus six times the square root of t. And then now the square root of four becomes two here, giving us four times the square root of three. And then we have in the denominator, let's just check what we have in the denominator. So we have 1936 minus 24, which is 1912, 1912 in the denominator. 1912, okay, in the denominator. Okay, uh, this gives us 308 and 4 times the square root of 3, therefore, is 48. 48 times the square root of 3, if you deal with these two. Okay, we're done with this, and this is 48 times the square root of 3. And uh, we also have a couple of things like uh, um, square root of 2. So if you look at the square root of 2, like this minus 44 times the square root of 2, minus 6 uh, times the square root of 2, which is minus 50 times the square root of 2. In which case, we then obviously have the cancellation here, uh, uh, well, rather the addition, addition uh, there. So we dealt with those and we're crossing them out because we dealt with those to avoid potential confusion. And uh, this is uh, minus 14 times square root of 6 divided by 1912. Okay, divide through by 2, which is 154 plus 24 times square root of 3 minus 25 times the square root of 2 minus 7 times the square root of 6. You divide by, divide the uh, 1912 by 2, you get 956. Okay, this is what we are able to achieve at this point. And uh, we have uh, actually got this result here. Uh, just checking if everything is above board. And it appears that everything is uh, essentially above board. And uh, we are done solving this problem. Yeah, so thanks everybody for taking part and for watching as we solved this particular question, uh, um, and this particular past two questions, and we solved them step by step. Yeah, this is the ultimate. Okay, two problems solved in this uh, particular um, discussion. So thank you and goodbye to you.